uh, to be with us. Um, Father Tool was with us last week and gave us a really great talk on God's love and who is Jesus Christ. This evening we're going to hear about how it is to become Christians, what it means to become Christians, and also repentance and faith. And to present this topic is our guest speaker this evening. He is a deacon of St. Matthew's for, from the beginning, from where it started, back in when St. Matthew's was being masked in the theater some 25 years ago. We are truly blessed and also great to have a supporter of our CFC mission, ministry. I'd like you to please welcome Deacon James Hammerlin. Um, I think one of the first things that I always like to do, especially in a group that I'm not familiarized with, is to make you familiarized with me. Um, the deacon, role of a permanent deacon, there's, and this is just brief, um, when you go into clergy, ordained into the uh, clergy, the, the entry level is deacon, two types of deacon, permanent, of which I am. Permanent deacons can be married, of which I am. And then there's the transitioning deacon, which transitions to the priesthood. So um, once you're ordained to the clergy, uh, the question becomes, uh, I think a lot of times, uh, most of us are familiarized with how a priest dress, dresses. And uh, what I always tell people is that once you're ordained to the clergy, you dress as clergy does. So this is clergy dress, not priest dress, necessarily. You'll see seminarians and transitioning deacons dress in the same way. The next question is, uh, what's the difference between a priest and a deacon? There's uh, two things that a priest is ordained to do that a deacon is not. And that is say mass and hear reconciliation. So that's the priestly role. But deacons can marry, baptize. We do uh, prayer services, rosary services at funerals. Uh, obviously teach within the structure. We have a, a role within the mass itself. So just to kind of give you a little background. Um, and as you heard, I've been here at St. Matthew the entire uh, St. Matthew started in a church, or I should say in a uh, theater. And we started worshiping in uh, uh, a movie theater back almost 25 years. This is actually the St. Matthew uh, anniversary was just this past week. So 24, next year is 25 years. So just a little bit of a history. Now we are here this evening for uh, what does it mean to be a Christian? And I have some notes here that say that you, um, last week you were asked the question, who is Jesus Christ? So you already know who Jesus is, right? Okay, who is Jesus? God. He's our Savior. Savior, oh, good, good. He's a Savior, okay, good. How about this row right over here? Lots of faces, <laughs> young faces, hoping, he's God, there we go, hoping not to be asked in the <laughs> And it says, yes, he is God, and we know that Jesus is God. Um, in fact, as Christians, we carry his name as um, the, the name of Christian is all about. And so what we want to do is we need to learn more about what it means to be a Christian. And uh, initially I think there are some misconceptions and maybe that this is better, okay. Uh, incomplete notions about what Christianity is all about. Um, it's a set of doctrines and that is kind of just reducing it to just that. Uh, faith remains on an intellectual level if we just look at it as a uh, set of doctrines. 
uh, a set of religious practices. And sometimes we equate our uh, faith in being a, question, in a uh, Christian with the fact that we attend Mass. You know, once a week, that's being a Christian. And again, that is not necessarily what it's all about. I mean, it's a part of being a Christian. It's a way of recognizing our faith and showing uh, to God who we are and worshiping in the community very much as we gather as a community here. Knowing or reading a lot about God. Sometimes we get caught up, I think, in that respect, thinking that, you know, I'm a Christian because uh, I do a lot of prayers, I do a lot of reading, and I kind of understand uh, from the intellectual standpoint who God is. And again, it's all part of, but not meaningful <coughs> in the sense of what is a Christian. We can be uh, misled, I think, a lot of times because of the fact that we get in one mode or another. And being a Christian is an all-encompassing. It's not just one thing. Sometimes we get, um, and this goes back, this would go back many, many years, but sometimes we get caught up as uh, a Christian of, you know, what we do right and what we do wrong. And again, it's a sort of uh, a knowledge, intellectual aspect. And we do that because what we want to do is we want to avoid going to the wrong place. Where do we all want to go? Heaven. 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 Where do we not want to go? Hell. Hell. Okay, so it's like, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to, you know, intellectually do these things, and it's almost like, uh, you know, God is up there and he's has your name and he's kind of saying, oh, okay, here it is, check mark here, oh, no check mark, and then at the end, you just add up all the check marks. No, that's not what it's all about. So, you know, we can get caught up a lot of times in just with the, the, the fact that we get caught up in one area of our life. A Christian is someone who does good and is kind. They are a nice individual who always smiles, is friendly, never angry, and tries to please everyone. An incomplete notion is that, you know, again, we, we see ourselves as uh, one of these other parts and it's not the complete of what it means to be a Christian. Christianity, uh, sometimes we look at it as an escape from realities of life. And, you know, we get caught up in maybe one aspect of uh, always praying and thinking that's all we need to do. And if we do that, you know, often enough and frequently enough, then that means we're a Christian. And again, it's more than just one thing. I'm not saying any of these things are bad. They're not. They're, they're all a part of being a Christian and living a Christian life. And if we ask then the question, which always comes down to, well, okay, the essential question is what is being a Christian, or what is Christianity? The es essence of Christianity is the union with God made possible through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. 